Let's go through the reset feature for the bookmap columns. In this SVP column or session range volume profile, I have configured the column to split out the data according to the aggressor. Aggressor sells on the left hand side and aggressor buys on the right hand side. Now let's right click and you can see that I have the option here for reset. This option is available for the different data types of volume, trades counter, and quotes counter for both session and chart range accumulated. Okay. We'll look at a volume counter and let's go through the reset options. Hovering over here, I can directly reset this right away. And you can see that the, the data here for the volume has now reset and new volume is being recorded. Let's right click again, come to reset, and let's clear our resets here. We're back to the original data for the entire session. Let's right click again. We want to reset on double click. So we'll select this box here and you can see that up in the column header SVP followed by a little two and an arrow. So if I double left click I'm going to reset this column. This is a great tool for those wanting to reset all the time at specific price levels looking at very small time frames scalping for a tick or two. And let's right click again come to reset We'll deselect that, right click again, and let's clear our settings. Okay, we're back to our original column data. Now there are some conditional reset configurations as well. And let's go through those. I'll select reset configuration. There are some schedule resets. Let's uh, schedule a reset, click the box here, and we have different options. We can reset at a specific time based on an hour, minute, or second. Okay. or have a recurring reset either every hour, minute, or second, or on session start. Click on session start radio button here, and then you have the option here. You can see the setting is for 8 o'clock Eastern time. And let's click on se session starting settings, and then input 9.30 a.m., for example, uh, here, if you like, uh, to have it reset exactly at 9.30 at the cache session open. Now there's a conditional reset down here as well. The conditional reset, if checked, means that the reset level, reset the level if the time between two events on this level is more than 2500 milliseconds. You can use the drop down and you can select either 1000, 2500, or 5000 milliseconds. What this means is that in the second event that takes place at a price level, if it goes out of that level, and then it comes back in very quickly within the 2500 millisecond cutoff the data will not reset for that column now if it goes outside of that level for more than 2500 milliseconds it will reset the data